The Terry Higgins AIDS Memorial Quilt is so important for us. For 41 years, we've kept Terry as a, a symbol, as a two-dimensional figure in whose name we work and whose symbol that we support. But often not told some of that backstory, the detail. And what a better way to tell detail than in a quilt. And one of the things I love about this project is every quilt tells a story, but every time you look at it, you see something else, that other bit of detail as it unveils, like an onion, to unveil the real person and that bit of personality. And that person has been added to by those who told the story and those wonderful quilters who created this magnificent piece of art. Putting a quilt together like this is a massive community project. So many different people involved in lots of different places around the UK, not actually seeing each other physically in person. So what has been your experience of working with the Guild and what has surprised you the most about the process of making this quilt? I'm somebody who thinks most projects are simple and really they're complicated. And the quilters have brought a level of complexity with ease. They have taken a project that was so multifaceted and delivered such a wonderful outcome and like a swan, seamlessly uh, taken us through that process. We know all the work that's gone underneath, but actually we haven't seen the uh, endeavor that's gone into it, but we've seen such a beautiful product that's come out of it. The Quilters Guild is clearly the most amazing network of people who want to share their love, their joys in the quilting world, but also want to leave the world a better place than they found it. And I think we've been able to bring those two things together in this wonderful Terry Higgins AIDS Memorial Quilt. Thank you. Does the quilt have a long-term home? And where does it go from here? What are the plans for it? So from here, um, not just launching it at the Quilters Festival, but we're taking it to community events um, around the country and Terence Higgins Trust's different offices across the UK. It will then have an unveiling in London and then crucially it's going to go for a temporary home at a museum in Sheffield who will treasure it for us for about nine months I believe, crucially over the World AIDS Day period through to Terry's birthday um, in 2024 I believe and then it will join eventually the UK AIDS Quilt Partnership which has got 40 other quilts of which this will join that tell the stories of other people who perished too early because treatment wasn't available quick enough and action wasn't taken to uh, uh, treat them and to fight the stigma. So it will join that wider collection and tell lots of people's stories about those who've been impacted by HIV over 40 years. Great, that's great. Obviously quilts are hugely emotional pieces and has it surprised you the depth of feeling that can be translated in a quilt um, within this project? Quilts are a security blanket, aren't they? They're the thing that you put over your bed to keep you safe from the gremlins under the bed as a kid through to those moments that when we have a sick day or a breakup in a relationship, you want that big thick quilt to keep you warm. And I think it's so fitting that Cleve Jones, who founded the Names Movement, chose quilts to immortalise those who died of HIV and AIDS related illnesses because it brings together the vulnerability and the security. And it's so wonderful to see that happen. And as you look at each quilt, as you feel the warmth of each quilt, you actually learn something about their subject. And every time you look, you see more detail on every occasion. Thank you. Thank you.